I'm Judy Monroe, Indiana State Health Commissioner, and this is my last day on the job. Driving in today, um, I was thinking about what a remarkable journey it's been. This five years has been uh, transformative for me in my career, but I think for Indiana as well, uh, for public health. One of the greatest joys in this job has been reaching out to the entire community at all sectors. We've worked with our, our school systems, Department of Education, with our uh, business community, and with our faith community. Are we making proper improvements on smoking rate? After we raised the cigarette tax, um, in 07, we clearly saw, and we have hard data to show that the consumption of cigarettes dropped 25%. I learned early on, and it became very clear to me, there, there are none of our big public health issues that we want to solve can be done by the health department alone. It can't be done by public health alone. It's been great to see how the system partners do want to work with us to make a difference. So it, it's meant a lot to me to work with the universities in Indiana. Purdue University, uh, a, about four or five years ago, developed healthcare technical assistance program. As we've been looking at trying to improve public health systems, it made sense to reach out to Purdue. It's very exciting how counties like Boone County have come together with their healthy coalitions or their partners uh, to learn about quality improvement and how to apply that in, into public health. Um, and we've, as we've reached out to Purdue and, and used some of the high tech, it's worked very well for us. Would you please mark either A, B, C, D, or E and push send? The communities, as they learn about quality improvement, okay, they begin to learn the tools that they can apply to improving a specific problem in their communities. Has the local public health system conducted a community health assessment? C for 60%, that's a consensus. As we see the uh, uh, expert from Purdue uh, that comes in really as, as the teacher, uh, taking a community group uh, through teaching them quality improvement and how to apply it, they get that immediate data with the audience response system. We're finding that some of the counties that have gone through the assessment process a year or two ago early on and who have embraced that very strongly and tried to use the results of the assessment to improve have done well in the county health rankings. I'm very excited about the county health rankings. I didn't realize uh, how excited I would be until after they came out and we started having counties in Indiana that we really did not have as much interest in, in uh, engaging in our quality improvement. And once they got their county health ranking, uh, they were on the phone calling us saying, hey, we, we want to be part of this. Um, so that's been our message with our quality improvement project all along is that uh, it, it, the, the action's going to be at that county level. When we launched uh, In Shape Indiana, um, we, we knew we would need to have businesses at the table. Hey, good morning. To change our culture toward one of wellness from an economic standpoint. So we reached out to businesses early on um, and made it clear to them that they, we wanted them to be partners. Good morning, Gregory and Appel. One moment. Gregory and Appel is an example of a small company that was mobilized into action because of our worksite uh, tax credit. Uh, that was part of our cigarette tax increase uh, in 2007. So they're a small company, and because of the tax credit, they've got a gym now, and we've seen that multiplied, uh, I think, 150 times now over this, around the state of small employers that have uh, been mobilized into action uh, to help their employees. At Greg and Appel, we've instituted a, a comprehensive wellness plan that employees have, have received very well. Part of it is to get a tax credit. It's also to get employees up and moving, to, to get them up off their seats. Wait for me, Rhonda. To either counting their steps or, or going on runs or eating healthy. And it's a, it's a, a, a program where we really are encouraging people to live healthy lifestyles. Uh, employees can earn $500 gift cards if they go through enough steps. You take a pedometer and you count your steps for the day and you simply plug it in to your computer at the office and it uploads right onto the website. I think it's really exciting because when an employer uh, takes steps to improve the health of their employees, it really does speak to the employees as we value you as a human being, uh, not just as an employee, but we really value your health. Dr. 
around. Yeah. And watch for these pictures and see if there's oh, any yeah. that you don't Great. want included. Okay, we've had a busy five years. Yes, we okay. have. A lot of memories. Thank there's you. Peyton and I. In June of uh, 2009, I had the privilege of being with Peyton Manning when he and I and others launched Project 18, which is uh, his initiative to uh, battle childhood obesity. Healthy eating can be a tricky thing. He has a hospital named after him, a children's hospital, and they partnered with Ball State University and Marsh Supermarkets. See, you can have your cake and eat it too, as long as you're also eating the foods that keep you fit and healthy. It's really fun to have the children come to uh, the uh, supermarket uh, and, and understand where the healthy foods are in the supermarket, which aisles are the, the healthy ones, um, and, and having them engage uh, with Marsh Supermarket uh, employees. I'm Molly Ittenbach, a pharmacist at Marsh. I also give grocery store tours as part of the Project 18 program to teach children about making healthy choices. We are going to start off in the produce section where they have the fruits and vegetables. What a great uh, combination. And this is mobilized across the state. What are the two magic words? Whole grains. Classes that are now going into supermarkets and realizing how important food is to, to their health. One of the things that you can look for that give you a clue that something is going to be a good, healthy choice, maybe as compared to some other things, are these little tags that we've got in front uh, of the pride in that say Project 18 approved. Prevention is just, I think, the answer uh, to, to so many of the, the questions that we have uh, around healthcare and around the cost of healthcare. For me personally, it's been important because as a family doc, um, I've, I've, seen, I've seen the end result of, of not uh, having prevention. Let's go upstream and, and go to the primary prevention, which is really where public health uh, can take the lead, should take the lead, 